Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Dave here with Gold Gamers, and today we got a Nintendo Switch that is not charging and is not due to the charging port that's sitting on a repair bench right now. So let's go over to the microscope and see exactly what we got going on. All right, so we do have a Nintendo Switch motherboard, as you can see right here under the microscope. Here is our Type-C charging port. Now, this one is obviously an interesting one because all the pins are completely fine. And let me see if I can add a little bit more light to that. There we go. All the pins are completely fine. All of them have solder flowed onto, directly onto the pins. And let's check out the inside of this charging port. All right, so as we can see, all the pins look good in this charging port. Let me even lower down the lighting, which that didn't help at all, but I can see just fine. I'll, sw I'll swap it to the other side, and I can see all the pins are just fine. Now, that obviously lets me know that there's something, obviously something else going on with the board that is not the charging port. So let's go around and let's start charge testing everything. So we have our BQ chip, chip right here. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna put my black probe on ground right here, right on top of the heat reflector over top of the CPU. I'm gonna put red probe right here. Actually, sorry, let me turn on my multimeter. So red probe right here, no short, no short, no short. No short. And no short. So the BQ chip is perfectly fine. Now I want to check out the M92 chip and see if this chip could possibly be shorted out. We have no short coming from any of these. A short from here will usually indicate something going on with the P13 chip, which is on the other side of the board. There's absolutely no short coming from this chip, right? From this component right here. No short. And no short. So I think I tested that bottom cap right there, but I'll double check. No short. So let's turn this board around and see what we got on the opposite side of this board. All right, so here's our P13 chip right here. And we have no short from, from this P13 chip at all. So no obvious shorts, nothing that we can see. Um, my other choice is to be able to take my thermal camera. I'm going to plug this thing into power. So we're going to put some voltage running through the board and see if anything gets hot see if anything doesn't get hot and see if there's any shorts that i wasn't able to detect using my multimeter so let's go over to the thermal camera all right here we go there's the thermal so let's see if we see anything i have it plugged into power and i don't see absolutely anything running too hot all right so i just plugged in the battery to see if that will jump start anything so looking all over the place i don't see anything let's change our color scale to iron and i don't see any chips or anything getting too hot on this board everything seems stable everything seems normal so no obvious shorts, nothing getting extremely hot. Now, what I'm going to do is instead of sitting here testing things for hours on end, I'm just going to go ahead and replace the M92 chip because most of the time that M92 chip goes out, for whatever reason, I can't detect any shorts on it. So we're going to see if just replacing that M92 chip is going to be able to resolve this issue. So let's get this desoldered and taken off of the board. All right, so I have the 
motherboard sitting in my Omnivice PCB board holder. I just applied a little bit of 8341 no clean flux to the board. Link for that flux is in the description below. Got my fume extractor going and now I'm gonna turn my heat wand Let's start off at 30% and let's do 440 and use that to be able to pull this off of the board. All right, so now we're applying our heat to the chip. So we got the OM92 lifted off of the board. And now what we're going to do is we're going to Replace the OM92 with the new one. All right, so we got the new M92 chip in place. Now what I'm doing is I'm gonna take my hackle solder iron, apply a little bit more flux, and we're gonna go around and make sure we have a good connection from the pads onto the board. All right, so it looks like we have a solid good connection with this new M92 chip on this board and we can see we have a good solid connections over there let's check the other side you have good solid connections over there let's check this side over here good solid collect connections let's check this side we have a good solid connection on this side as well so everything looks good what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kinda just do a visual check of this board just to make sure no components fell off there's nothing i need to replace everything looks good i'm gonna clean up this area a little bit because it has a little bit of flux all right so we are completely good to go so as you can see board looks good we have the chip in place and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and plug this up to my meter and see if that gets it working honestly if that doesn't fix it i don't know what else i don't know where i put my trash can i don't know what else could really be wrong because everything else seems fine and i really don't want to just go through replacing every single chip if all chips are good but let's see all right so i have a little battery right here i'm going to plug this battery into console now let's hook our meter into this yes we're getting a charge all right that was a pretty good guess on that m92 chip all right perfect all right so that lets me know that everything is charging let's get this thing um put back together let's make sure there is no other issues with this console and we should be good to go after that all right so look at that we have a charger symbol that's something obviously we didn't have before i'm also going to test the other side just to make sure both sides of the type c charger can charge this power symbol is back on so what i'm going to do is i'm going to allow this to be able to charge up a little bit just to make sure everything comes to the screen make sure the touch works and there's, there's no further issues with this as soon as we get this powered on i'll come right back all right so um, the battery symbol has disappeared. Let's turn it on. Just press the power button. Okay, so it was actually already on anyway, so it looked like it turned on automatically. 
So as we can see, we got the charging symbol up there now. Everything works perfectly. I can hear a sound. Everything is great. I'm going to unplug it, flip it around, plug it back in. I can see the battery symbol pop back up. And looks like this was a very successful repair. So if this video did help you guys out or if you did enjoy it, just make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are brand new. I try to upload a lot of repair videos like this on this YouTube channel right here. If you got any questions or comments, you can reach out to me down below in the comments. The best place to actually, the best place to actually get a hold of me is actually on our forums at gogamers.com slash forum. You can ask your questionnaire if you have any specific issues that I didn't cover in this video, and I can try to answer any of your questions over there on those forums. But besides that, I hope to see you guys on the flip side, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.